you've heard about the three T's that North Carolina's governor says this will help to get us past the pandemic, the testing, the tracing and trends. The second one on that list, tracing, is critically important, but it's complicated and it's time consuming. Our John Paul spoke today with a public health expert in Union County about how it works. We get the initial report that a person has been diagnosed. Then we call that person and discuss with them about, you know, how they're doing, um, what their symptoms have been. And then we do get into who they've been with and the places that they've gone in the time period before the infection started. So they give you a, a list of pretty much everyone they've come into contact with. We, we ask them, yeah, we ask, you know, who do you live with? Mm -hmm. Have you been to visit anybody at work? Do you have any close contacts? Do you work from home? Do you go into a, a big office? Um, you know, just narrow down. Do you go, have you been to the grocery store? Have you been on an airplane? Have you been to a baby shower or, you know, any kind of a play date, any kind of Context. So there potentially could be a very long list of people and places when it comes to contact tracing. So then what do you do? Then we call those people and find out how they're doing. Are they symptomatic? At this point, we're letting them know that they need to quarantine themselves for 14 days after that last exposure to the, the known positive person. One other challenge of that contact tracing is some patients really don't have a good recollection of everyone they've been around. So what can we all do to help with this process? Limit the people you come into contact with and try to keep track of them.